Then God says, don't lie. And look at this lying that we have. At age four, 90% of children have learned the concept of lying. My boys were prodigies. They learned earlier than that. <laughs> An estimated 6% of adults cannot have a 10-minute conversation without lying at, each, at least once. Within 10 minutes, the average of three lies were told. Americans average lying 11 times a week. A little low for this crowd, I'd say. 12% <laughs> of adults admit to lying regularly. 20% of women admit to telling harmless half-truths occasionally. 31% of people admit to lying on their resume. You remember in 2001, George O'Leary was made head football coach at Notre Dame? The goal of his life as a coach in his resume, he had written down, years before, by the way, that he'd played football. The University of Massachusetts was a three-year letterman. So somebody checked back to see about his career at this university and discovered he never played a down for the university. Never played football. They fired him. He was head football coach at Notre Dame for one day <laughs> because he lied on his resume. Six lies are told by men daily to their partner, boss, or colleague. Three lies are told daily by women to their husband's boss or colleague. Six percent were outright deception. Seventy percent of liars claim they would tell their lies again if we lie when we let a half-truth go by. Well, it looks like we've got a problem with lying. A big problem with lying. And boy, how we love gossip. Let me tell you something about gossip, folks. It is, it is tasty. Gossip is so sweet, but it's still poison. It's still poison. We always have to ask, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it necessary? And don't cover it with prayer. Oh, I want you to pray for Billy. Let me tell you what's going on with Billy. More godliness is done through false piosity than you'll ever imagine in the church. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it necessary? 